Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to talk about how you can start mining Cospa coin using a Windows 10 or 11 based computer with a CPU or GPU here in 2024. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn and keep more of the Casper coin that you are out here working to mine, allowing you to build your holdings even faster. So before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the video then. But overall, as you can see, it's been a pretty flat day here in crypto. Now we have seen certain coins do really well, but overall up about 0.35% to $3.08 trillion across the board. Uh, overall, Bitcoin's had a fairly decent day. Uh, I believe it did hit a new all-time high earlier today, uh, but currently trading just over $92,000, which is up about 1% today. Uh, Ethereum, Solana, Binance, XRP, those are all down today as well. Uh, Dogecoin is up about 3.5% to $0.38. Cents. So overall, still looking pretty good in the top 10. More of a mixture of green and red today, but overall, we are still seeing really good prices. So even though there is some red sprinkled in there, I don't think this is anything to be too concerned about. So before we dive into the site today, I do want to take just a quick second to look up Casper coin and take a look at that one. So as you can see, with this being the coin of today's video, we are down about 8% today, 15.82 cents. Looking at their all-time chart, of course, this is a fairly new coin. Uh, Mid-2022 is when it came out, so it's a little over two years old, uh, but it did peak just a few months ago in early August uh, at about 20 cents a coin. So it hasn't even been around for a Bitcoin bull run yet. The last one was pretty much dying out by, you know, end of 2021. So we really do have a lot of potential for this coin. And if you're new to crypto, maybe you're not aware, but Caspa is one of the newest and hottest coins to mine with ASICs. Uh, they followed the a very similar pattern as Bitcoin, where it was originally CPU and GPU mineable, and now it's more ASICs. So you may be thinking, how do you mine Caspa using a Windows 10 or 11 based computer? Well, we are using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, the main purpose of this site is to allow you to mine coins using a CPU or a GPU that are not traditionally mineable. Now, even though Caspa is a mineable coin, like I said, most people that are mining now are using ASICs, which are thousands of dollars to purchase. They require their own special power setup and you have to deal with having an ASIC. They're very loud, they produce a lot of heat, and they do require maintenance, um, you know, specialized maintenance beyond just what a regular computer would. So with that being said, maybe you're still interested in Cospa, maybe you have a decent GPU, CPU, or you're just looking to build up your holdings on the side. Well, that's where Unminable comes in, is it allows you to choose an algorithm that works best for your hardware. Um, and if you're not familiar with what that is, I would go out to whattomine.com, check that site out, enter in your hardware, and it'll tell you what is best to mine for you. So it really takes uh, advantage of your specific computer and allows you to get paid out in a coin that you want, in this case, Caspa. So scrolling down here, um, and I will say before we dive in, the link to Unminable is in the description below. I highly recommend using that link because it will actually save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about more in just a minute. But once you're here on the site, go ahead and find the Get Started With Our Wizard button. This is going to give you two options, Basic and Advanced. At this point, what you can do is select the Basic option. If you want to follow Advanced, go ahead, but I always recommend Basic. I'm going to be following along the GPU path here, but if you are following along with a CPU or you're looking to mine on a Mac OS based computer, choose the CPU option. 
Here's where you'll choose your algorithm. I always go with Kapow as that's the one that I've traditionally mined with here on my setup, but please choose what's best for you. Here's where you choose the coin that you are looking to get paid out in or mine. Of course, we're going to be going with Cospa, but feel free to choose whatever you're interested in. Just make sure you enter in the right wallet address for the coin you choose. And with that being said, when you enter in your address, you can see that if I delete that little G off the end, it does say, hey, this appears to be invalid. But if I replace that with a D, we all know that I will not get paid out here, um, but it does get rid of that warning. So please double and triple check th that your address is correct because everything will work as expected. You will be able to mine, it will show stats, but when you go to get paid out, you will not get the payment. So I always like to say, please check that address. And the final step here before diving into getting the miner set up is a referral code. Now you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated. That is what is going to happen if you use the link down below. Now I always recommend using this code as it saves you 25% on your pool mining fee. So basically here on Unminable, there's a 1% fee, meaning that if you mine 100 Caspa coin, you're always going to be paying one of those coins to Unminable. doesn't matter if the coin is 15 cents or $15. doesn't matter if you mine those 100 coins in a day or in a year. You will always pay that one coin to Unminable. And by using this code, it actually reduces it down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep that additional 0.25 of each hundred coins that you would have otherwise paid to Unminable. Again, that code is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. Feel free to use that or continue without the referral code. Now the final step is downloading the miner and getting started. Now I always recommend Gminer as it's worked really well for me in the past. It's the one I personally use. It supports both major GPU manufacturers, but with that being said, I've used just about every one of the miners on the list here, and they all work really well. So feel free to choose what you're most interested in, but I will be going with Gminer. Go ahead and select Download Miner Files. This will take you to the GitHub. Download this Windows 64 zip file and extract it. Once you've extracted it, you will get a file that looks similar to this. Tons of different files in there. That is how it is supposed to look. Once, you're, once you've extracted that and... Um, got everything ready to go, come back over to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file. This is going to download the file to your computer. As you can see, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, we're not sure that this is a safe file for you. Are you sure you want to download it? You will have to go ahead and say download unverified file. If you're not comfortable doing this, please simply say delete from history and unfortunately move on to something else in crypto. This is not just an unminable thing, it is most mining pr platforms um, run into this because of the way the files are. I've never had an issue with it, so that's why I always say if you're not comfortable with it, simply don't do it. Then what you're going to do is just drag and drop this file into the folder with everything you just extracted. So as you can see, I have unminable kas kapow gminer.bat. All you have to do at this point to get started is double click this file. Now you will notice that a pop-up comes up says, hey, Windows has protected your PC. You will have to say more info and run anyway. Similar to with Google Chrome's warning, if you're not comfortable with this, please simply select don't run, delete the files, and check out some other videos on crypto. But if you are comfortable with that, at this point, you can see we are up and running, mining, unminable, with Caspa, on my RTX 3070. So it is really that easy. We are about nine minutes into this video and that included a few minutes of looking at coin market cap. So just a few things about unminable mining. It does take about 15 to 30 minutes for your stats to show up here on the website once you've started the miner. That is completely normal. If you don't see them after about an hour, maybe double check the configuration, you've got your address pasted in right, and that there are no red text errors here in this miner. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and select the red X. At that point, the miner is stopped. You are no longer mining. You may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That is the easy part. Well, 
with unminable for some reason there's actually this thing that happens when you continue to see stats and possibly even payments up to 12 hours after stopping your miner. It's very strange, I don't know why it does that, but I've personally seen payments come in 12 hours after stopping a miner, even though the computer was completely turned off. So I always like to mention that, hey, as long as that's closed out, you are no longer mining. So with that being said, if you do run into any issues throughout this whole process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help get you up and running. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.